that that was unexpected in the scheme of things but oh my god why is he doing this welcome back to music teacher reacts home to the loudest space bar in the business and of course my reaction analyses to things music related uh, music just music thank you to all of dimash's dears am i one now <laughs> If you haven't seen my introduction to Dimash, check it out and then check this out because I already know how he sounds, but but who knows what's going to happen. Oh, and thank you to everybody who commented. I actually see every single comment and uh, watch what you say because sometimes I'll pin the comments because I have fun pinning comments if they're amazing, funny, insightful, uh, hater comments. Love it. So hopefully this intro isn't too long. <laughs> Pressing play now. Казахстан всегда гордился и гордится своими талантами. Сейчас на сцену выйдет представитель уже нового поколения казахстанских звезд. Парень раньше нас, друзья, с вами понял, где больше зрителей поехал в Китай. И между прочим, там, внимание, победил в проекте «Голос». В Китае человек из Казахстана победил с хитом А-студио «Грешная любовь». Впервые на новой волне. Прорыв года. Димаш Кудайбергенов. I understood maybe seven words. Sit just now. <laughs> Sinful passion. Если б знала ты, что мне нужна только ты одна. He's got such a beautiful low register. His voice. It's like... Okay, so it's it, it's really pure, but he's got this kind of breathy vocal tone to him in this song, which is so beautiful. And I'm listening to the composition itself, and he's singing at his lower middle, lower to, no, not middle, <laughs> lower registers. And it's in this core. Oh, is it a pre-chorus or a chorus? I'm not sure yet. Is contrasting so beautifully with the high registers. I'll do it this way because <laughs> high registers of the piano. His vocals, insane, amazing, beautiful. But let, let's not forget the dude who's accompanying him. And yes, it's part of the composition. And then you just have this lovely mix of high registers of the piano and his gorgeous low register. It Moving into this section is beautiful. Here we go. Again, I'm not a vocal coach. Don't take what I say. I'll talk about it musically. Again, just, just taking that beautiful, breathy vocal tone that he's taken from the beginning with, with his lower registers and again, replicating that an octave higher or, or whatever. We know that he can belt. We know that he can use vibrato. He's already done it in his lower tones, but this is way intentional and it's gorgeous. 
And complimenting with that cello. Oh my god. Couldn't stop it. Couldn't stop it during that. I think this would actually, if we're talking about Reactivate, <laughs> this would be a really good introduction to Demash as well. Because he's exhibiting this male vocal range through much of the piece of music, which is somewhat expected with a breathy vocal tone and then a more stronger vibrato. But going into that section with that beautiful melisma, it was, it was a melisma with held sustained notes, however many notes that was running through, hitting that top note, which I'm going to find out what it is later on because I don't have perfect pitch, is a shock in itself. I loved it. But if I were to have seen this for the first time and not know who Dimash was, I would have been blown to the other side of the room. And, and yeah, that cello wouldn't probably have survived. That, that was unexpected in the scheme of things. But, oh my God, why is he doing this? What? It's that one. Is it? Yeah, it is. E. Six. He can plant his own garden now. <laughs> Does anything else happen at the end of this clip? That last section was made by two things. Number one, Dimash's amazing vocal ability. And number two, a well-placed key change. 
and I, I said it in the last one and I'm going to say it again. Let's, let's just compare and I'm taking it back. Let's just compare his, his vocal tone in that last section, a less, I'm going to say operatic. I'm putting it in inverted commas because that's what a lot of people associate. Less classical vocal tone and more of a... There's your operatic one. There's your non-operatic. No vibrato. Is that is 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 that it? No. Really? You're killing me, Dimash. Stop it. It's not that one. Oh, it's not. Five, six, B flat six, <laughs> B flat six. In a, I'm not a vocal teacher. In a head voice, it wasn't falsetto fully. But he, I compare it to his vocal tone again, where he's really belting out operatically versus non, it's beautiful. But it, he probably, I'm not sure if he can get out that level of vibrato at that, but he's, he's gonna blow, he's gonna do it and blow me away again with like a, was it D8? <laughs> Off the piano. <sighs> oh, one more thing. I hope this is not too long of an outro. That was interesting melodically because it moved up to a pitch which you wouldn't expect in the key and as well he was doing something with his throat which seemed somewhat cultural. I don't know what this song's about. Oh, okay. So the reactor bait worked last time. I got a bunch of new subscribers and if you're one of them, you're probably watching this right now. Yeah, I said I would have done at least one more dimash, but there's probably going to be at least 17,000 more, no, about maybe however many more there are. Yes, I'm going, to, I'm going and subscribing to his channel. He is incredible. Thank you for the recommendations. If you want to join the conversation, please comment below. Hit me up on Insta. Thank you. Until next time. Uh -huh.